What is a semi-fungible crypto token? Hi. In this video, I'll show you the role that semi-fungible tokens play in the world of crypto. Imagine a huge family consisting of grandmas, grandpas, cousins, nephews, nieces, brothers, sisters, and so on. This family intends to build a huge home to hold them all. So they all go to the beach to hunt for clams, which they would then resell to make some profit. But all clams they catch can only be grouped into three. Semi-fungible tokens can be considered as one of those categories. Let me show you what semi-fungible tokens are. But before then, let's dive into the vast crypto pool to understand the three types of tokens there are. Cryptocurrency has taken a central place in the world of finance, and everyone can't stop talking about it. Despite their volatile nature, cryptocurrencies still maintain their stand in the big sphere of finance. Cryptocurrency exchanges do not guarantee that an investor makes the best possible purchase or trade. As a result, many investors take advantage of this by employing arbitrage to locate price differences across many markets. However, there are thousands of cryptocurrencies and they serve numerous functions in the crypto market. Examples are Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Stellar, Dogecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and many more. Meanwhile, fungibility is one of the exact ways to distinguish cryptocurrencies. Let's go back to our clam example. If, for instance, the grandpas get seven clams, two grandkids catch 15, and some cousins get four clams. Now imagine that the clams with the grandpas are Bitcoin, while those with the grandkids and cousins are Ethereum and Dogecoin, respectively. But something is common to all the clams they caught. They are all of three special species. That's fungibility in the crypto space. Cryptocurrency tokens can either be non-fungible, semi-fungible, or fungible, making them serve various functions and be used at different times in the crypto market. Before we go further, note that when we talk of tokens, we are also referring to crypto tokens. Now, I will explain each of these tokens. Before then, welcome to Yan Invest in Crypto, where we explain crypto concepts to you with stories, animations, and fun. Simply put, fungible tokens are cryptocurrencies that cannot be easily interchanged, which means during the means of exchange or trading, they remain as exact as they were before trading. Fungible tokens are separable assets that aren't one of a kind and can be easily traded for another asset of the same type. Tokens of this type are manufactured in such a way that each fraction of a token is equal to the next. Some samples of the fungible crypto Ethereum, ETH, Litecoin, LTC, Tether, USDT, and many more, i.e. one ETH for another ETH. So, if a fungible clam is worth a dollar and 10 logs of wood are worth $2 each, the family would have to swap 20 fungible clams to buy the 10 logs. On the other hand, there are non-fungible tokens, which you may know as NFTs. These are direct opposites of the fungible cryptos. They represent valuables in the form of digital acquisitions, such as paintings, real estate, musical records, artworks, etc. This means they cannot be exchanged with each other without losing their original value. Even though they've been there since 2014, NFTs are currently gaining popularity as a popular means to buy and sell digital artwork. Since November 2017, $174 million has been spent on NFTs. However, in the case of NFT, one asset would be graded higher than the other. As such, if a non-fungible clam is worth a dollar, the family can't deal it to buy a bag of cement worth even $2 until they find another non-fungible clam worth exactly $2. Another major feature of non-fungible tokens is that they are verifiable. This is because they are stored in blockchains that can be seen. Therefore, their authenticity and right can be assessed. Also, NFTs are indestructible. It is safe in the blockchain and cannot be destroyed. That being explained, let's talk about the real deal, which is the semi-fungible token, also known as SFTs. These combine the factors of non-fungible tokens and also that of fungible tokens. So far, if such a token hasn't expired, and if they exist, then they can operate as both types of fungible tokens. As a result, one distinguishing feature that distinguishes these particular forms of tokens as SFTs is that they lose their face value once restored. Let's see our family building to know what semi-fungible tokens are. 
let's imagine, one clam that could be both a fungible token and a non-fungible one. So, a clam worth $2 can be used as a non-fungible token to buy a bag of cement worth $2. In another case, that same clam coupled with multiple clams to buy an item worth much more than $2. There was a time the world was gearing for fungible tokens, then after a while, non-fungible tokens took over. Right now, people are now subscribing to the idea of the semi-fungible tokens. Semi-fungible tokens present awesome perks that you should know. The semi-fungible tokens allow crypto users to take advantage of the greater potential that non-fungible tokens present. Because semi-fungible tokens eliminate many of the problems associated with non-fungible tokens, users who want to trade non-fungible tokens but are limited by one stumbling block or the other can find a method to do so with semi-fungible tokens. As a result, blockchain-based tokens are facilitating a more efficient transaction procedure. In semi-fungible tokens, accidental loss of tokens can be avoided in a great way. If you can't trade at a time because of an issue with your BTC or ETH, you can always go back to trade with valuables that have been kept as assets. Another benefit is that the game industry is an incredible example of SFT over NFT, as these tokens can be used to portray weapons or things in a game. When a weapon is exchanged from one person to another, it keeps its fungibility while also adding history by noting that it has been used over 40 times and killed 30 people. Let me give a simple example. You bought and kept a bag. At this moment, your bag is fungible. A bag of the same price and same brand can be exchanged for another, for it is worth the same. However, hours later, you turn such a bag into baggage and return it to the store where it was bought. The price and value would have changed. This is close to how a semi-fungible works in recent days. So SFTs are uniquely positioned because they start as fungible items and then become non-fungible. Consider SFTs as a concert ticket for a live performance by your favorite band. Depending on availability and need, the face value of the ticket at the start of circulation may differ. You can exchange your concert ticket for an identical ticket as long as the band is the same, the date is the same, and the seat is in the same section. You will not be able to swap the token for another concert ticket for a later date or another band on the same day after the show. However, you can save the expired ticket as a valuable memory. Other examples of semi-fungible tokens are coupons and gift cards. However, the interest of semi-fungible tokens rose during the earlier months of this year. Data has shown that NFT sales surged by $2 billion in the last two months with some records proving this in leading markets such as OpenSea and the Ethereum-based NFT marketplace, etc. The rapid expansion has sparked a new wave of non-fungible asset innovation. Meanwhile, semi-fungible tokens derive their name from the process of changing from a fungible to a non-fungible token upon redemption. Batch transfers are supported by semi-fungible tokens, but not by NFTs. Many SFTs can be transferred in a single transaction, resulting in lower gas prices and expenditures. Now, let's move to how the semi-fungible token was created. The Sandbox, Horizon Games, and Engine, three blockchain game developers, devised the standard and built SFT in 2017 using a combination of fungible and non-fungible token standards. The coin was created and controlled with a single smart contract utilizing a combination of ETH-20 and ETH-721 tokens to develop the standard ERC-1155. ERC-1155 permits many assets to be included in a single smart contract, allowing for their transfer with less system congestion and cheaper transaction expenses. The support for non-fungible and fungible tokens is the next notable feature of the ERC-1155 token standard. You are wondering how? Multiple states can be supported on a single contract and address using ERC-1155. Over the last few years, the value of cryptocurrency has soared and fallen. Unlike NFTs, which require a new contract for each transaction, it allows the token to be established with just one smart contract. Because fungible tokens are used for transactions, SFT development is ideal for the gaming business. There are some controversies that NFTs and semi-fungible tokens are the same. So here is the question. Are they the same? The answer is that they are not the same. 
The major difference between an SFT and an NFT is that an SFT becomes non-fungible once sold away. As a result, if someone trades or buys a token from the original owner, they will end up with nothing because all tokens have the same monetary worth. NFTs, on the other hand, remain fungible even after the initial trade. SFTs may not be as popular as NFTs at the moment, but they have a bright future ahead of them. We know that traders prefer tokens that are flexible and long-lasting. SFTs are more distinctive because of their dual nature. The hybrid properties of both fungible and non-fungible tokens provide token developers a significant opportunity to join this unknown and untapped bandwagon of SFTs. Now, what's the future of semi-fungible tokens? SFTs may be useful when everything is digital and several tokens are required for various uses. They can be used in places where other fungible tokens aren't accepted. The fact that once redeemed or traded away from the original owner, these single-use objects can't be traded again adds a lot of worth to these assets. These tokens can be used for several purposes by different organizations and business models, depending on defined cases. Given the present infrastructure available in the blockchain development sector, many groups would find it easier to design solutions around them because they are created on the Ethereum blockchain. Thank you so much for watching today's video. See you in the next video.